Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating a few different ways on how to open up a chart on the Motive Wave trading platform. So first up, we'll work with the default layout here. We are currently on the homepage, and if you're not familiar with it, Motive Wave actually behaves and, and works with a page system. Pages can be selected in the bottom left-hand corner, and by default, you should probably have about six default pages you have the home page the chart page account options scan and optimize and anytime you're more than welcome to create your own page but for now we'll just stick with the defaults so working with the default home page here as you can see and right in front of your face you probably do have the es chart readily available for you of course this video is actually going to show you how to open up your new chart from scratch and like i said there's a couple ways to do so First up, and probably the easiest, is actually just working through the quote board. By default, there should be that working quote board in the bottom left, and it has a ton of contracts already added to it. If you see a contract you're familiar with or you want to trade or open up a chart for, all you need to do is just go ahead and right-click that contract, and you get the contacts menu. In this contacts menu, you can essentially open up uh, different widgets on this platform, and two of those, of course, are the charts. Now, there are two chart windows or widgets you can open up. One being the actual chart tab, which is pretty much what we're working with in this home page here. This is a chart tab of the ESU9, or you can open up a chart window. A chart window is essentially a separate instance of the platform. Of course, at the end of the day, it is still the same platform, but as you can see, when we open it up, it's its own entirely separate window. You can go ahead and maximize this window. You can minimize it. You can pull it off and add it to another screen if you want. So if you do have multiple monitors and you'd like to utilize those, I suggest using the windowed method and you can just go ahead and place the chart on each monitor as needed. So again, you have a couple of different options when doing so. If you do so with a tab, let's see what that looks like. Let's pick a different contract. We'll choose a DAO here and we'll open up a chart tab. So as you can see, it automatically puts the DAO up in my little tab system here. Tabs can be selected by just hovering over them and left clicking. And as you can see, we can swap back and forth as needed. If we want to arrange it differently, we can just left click, hold and drag on that tab. And you see it kind of displaces itself. Anywhere that's highlighted blue represents where it's going to actually be placed on the platform. So you can arrange this as you like and kind of create your own workspace if needed. If you want to just leave it back in its tab orientation, you can just go ahead and left click that and drag where it originally was. Now, if you do have a tab at any time and you want to go ahead and change that contract in the very top left hand corner, you'll see there's a little search box here. This will allow you to click this drop down menu and change the actual contract of your chart. So you can just click on one of these readily available contracts here and it will automatically update your chart for you. So that's one way of doing so. And like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, Motive Wave works with a page system. So as you may have noticed, and like I briefly mentioned it, there's actually an entire workspace just dedicated to charts. So if we click on that, as you notice, this is the chart page. It's oriented with six different charts. Of course, you can go ahead and drag and drop and change the orientation of these if you'd like. You can also increase tabs and start to just add your own charts if you want to again this platform is extremely customizable and there's not just one solid way to do one thing of course there's multiple methods so do what you like and create a platform for yourself this isn't set in stone and of course there's always going to be multiple ways to do these things if you'd like you can actually start and create your own page i'll just briefly show you that if you left click the plus button down in the lower left corner, it should be to the right of optimize if you still have the default layout. As you can see, you can choose from layout if you want. We can just choose one and then we can enter in a page name so we can make this demo charts. Press enter. And as you can see, this is our demos chart page now we're currently working with and it's just one chart orientation, of course. And like we've seen before, you just click on that plus button, click on chart, select your parameters here, the different contracts and then you can begin trading off of that chart if you'd like and view data for it. So that is the page method. Finally, let me just show you, you can also do so through the file menu. If you go to file, new, 
and then you have a couple different options here so we can from here either create a new page create a new desktop and then of course you have the new chart window this is my other suggestion suggested method we click on new chart window and this will open its entirely own window like we saw before this time it's just going to be starting from scratch and of course like i showed you before top left corner we can go ahead and change the contract as needed manipulate our time frames at the bottom here and there's a whole bunch of other customization options that we'll leave for future videos don't want to be too overwhelming with this first video just strictly stick to the proper way of how to open up a chart and show you the multiple ways of doing so if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section below if you're not familiar with it we do have a community forum where you're more than welcome to ask questions there if you haven't visited our community forum before please take a look in the description there's a link that'll bring you directly to it to ask questions there just sign up for an account in the top right hand corner enter in your email or username for yourself and you pretty much should be registered and go ahead and start asking questions we're constantly browsing the forum so we'll answer your questions there as well if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more motive wave content once again thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful